I recently had the opportunity to spend 24 hours living in a village with the Maasai tribe in Kenya. Me and my friend Ari got the very rare treatment of being able to actually sleep inside the village in one of their huts and live as the Maasai do. This is my video and the story I captured. Ari asked me along to be his cameraman, so he is predominantly featured in this video. Go check out his video where you can see him speak the language with the tribe. I also decided that instead of trying to do a fancy edit, I wanted to leave this video as raw as possible so you get a true feeling for what this experience was truly like. And lastly, shout out to Andrew Scrub for helping make this video possible. So there, what's, what is the purpose of this dance? The ceremonial welcome. Yeah. There's, you know, tradition, we don't... Don't let people to be in a village, yeah. inside the village. Uh, traditionally, before we welcome, yeah. especially to an attendant. Yeah. So we, uh, we traditionally we let our people uh, from anywhere. It can be either, uh, at least within here or outside the village. You must be welcome to Shawana. Uh, the warriors will do that. And, uh, officially, the ladies will also sing. Say welcome to the village. And then uh, there's another traditional dance like the warriors will jump, which means uh, during leisure time, these guys yeah, they used to organize competitions uh, to find which warrior will be the best in jumping. So the high story is going to be rewarded. Uh, there is a reward that will be given. Whoever uh, you'll be the winner of the most pickest girls compared to the three, because you are polygamy. So you are going to be the winner of the most pickest girl within the community. The person who can jump the best. Yeah. There's also some kind of dance from the warriors. Like they have to sing and uh, they seem to give themselves courage before they go out for hunting. Like, uh, some years ago, we used to go to the bush, to the land that we've seen, we have to hunt one land, uh, to make sure that we have proved ourselves, they prove their manhood, how brave are they, uh, how strong are they. So they seem to give themselves courage uh, to go out if they do an exercise. The warriors are like soldiers, uh, they represent the community on behalf, on behalf of any threats, anything bad, all protection is done by the warriors. So right now, eh, we, uh, we stay here, just come with me, the warriors are ready, we'll come up, make sure that you have to Give Jack. Okay, no. Jack.
video video say hi the video say hi say hi Say hi to video. Hi. Say hi to video. It's my daughter. Say hi to the Say hi to the Good job. Say hi. Say hi. Sopa. 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 Super. Super. <laughs> oh. oh, I share language, share language. Thank you. So welcome. Oh, wow. Share language. Oh, wow. Look at this. Okay. Yeah. Should we put our stuff here? This is lion's skin? Yes, lion. Yeah. Lion was fighting. <laughs> <laughs> this here? A lion. Feel it while it's dead. Had, so this is what, hat? Like, yeah, this is the main, the hairy part of a lion. But yeah. is, is this a hat? How do you... Yeah, yeah, you put you on a like hat. A like this? Yeah, you have, this is a very yeah. special cap. Wow. Special aspect. Cassie died. Cassie died. You see that, your lion. Look at that. <laughs> that lion skin. Did you kill this lion? Yeah, in their time. Did, in their time, was, this is a horn. This is a shofar. A horn from Chudu. Can I blow? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's blowing. So if you'd like to make any message out of the village, the main, the major, uh, the role of the horn yeah. is to do all the communication with, with other villages. All the communication, yeah. 
are the warriors between warriors to warriors. Yeah. So there's any message, special message. You can only then do you can special message. With that. Yeah. If you do it anyhow, Lee, yeah. you'll be punished by the elders, the chief of the village. So oh, you so make you sure it's that special just for you make sure that it's a very important message. Yeah. That's when you can blow them. Then you can blow up. Yeah. Let's come to okay. the house first. Yeah. This is my wife, and Kitok Hayana. Oh, Kitok. Mm. Jennifer. 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 It's so hot, the cup is scalding. Mm. It is so good though. Good, right? <laughs> it's so good, but it's so hot. Do lions ever come here to the village? Do they ever come? Never. Okay. All right, all right. <laughs> okay. So yeah. we we uh, in the evening we do yeah. separate the we separate the little ones like the small calves. Yeah. You come closer because they run out. Oh wow! So the little one stays here. Yeah. They they live here. They uh, the little the little these are the cow or the cows yeah. or the yeah. calves? Yeah. The calves. Calves. Calves stays yeah. here, and we have right now there. Yeah. Those are the little lamps. Okay. They'll go inside the house also. Yeah. So we separate them for protection. Yeah. And uh, the other major reason is to to preserve milk. Yeah. We preserve milk means we must separate them from their mothers, from the enclosures. Otherwise, if you don't take them out, they suck all the milk overnight. So in the morning, we don't have anything. Who, who sucks the milk? The little ones from their mothers suck the milk when they sleep together. Oh, but so, why you don't and you don't you don't want that? We don't want that because we why? cannot miss milk in the morning. Yeah, we must have milk in the morning. Oh, oh, oh! Because you want it, so you don't want the little ones to suck it up. Right? I see. I see. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want them to suck milk. So where do the big where do the big ones? Stay? In the morning we will stay without milk. Yeah. And it's part of the livelihood, you know. Yeah. It's part of food in the. That's what we drink in the morning. That's what we cook chai. We cannot cook the sites in the world. Right. So these are special. This is very special enclosure for sheep and goats. Yeah, they do stay here. here. So they, these are very special enclosure. This is for sheep and goats. And we separate in the middle so all yeah. the cows. So you see the kind of fence that we use. This is due to cheetah or leopard. Mm. So they would easy. come in together, right? Easy to yeah, yeah, yeah. snatch the boat. That makes sense. And uh, we have a thorny bush in here. Very thorny bush. That is a thorny bush. We use, use horns to fend the cloches. Uh, I mean, we use a lot of thorns for enclosures. Uh, to make sure that the, the predators will not go through mm. uh, to attack the animals. Yeah. So these these are very sharp thorns. They are from uh, uh, this is the acacia hoki. It's called acacia the, uh, the white thorn acacia. The white thorn acacia. That's got very bad. It's like poison. Very poison. sharp. Yeah. So the animals cannot go through yeah. any harm. Right. So, so this, this is, is more to. I thought this was to keep the chicken in, but it's really more to no, keep no, no, lepers and cows. out. During daytime, yeah. chickens just go there right. to scratch the cow dung and get the worms. They get uh, the worms. Okay. They just get worms. worms yeah. yeah. So this is kind of protection. We have to make sure that this, guy, this is Masai Mara. There are so many predators around. Yeah. So we make sure that we have very special enclosures so they don't they don't come for in. Our Did you ever get like will leopards ever come in and yeah. try to? Sometimes, yeah, we do. Right. We have some season, especially in the, during rain season. Rain season. We can come, but right now, animals are very much protected, not like they are yeah. before. Well, it seems like it's about now, to rain. Yeah. It 
clothes here. Yeah. It's a Especially lamp. Man. They are also separated from the mothers so that we can have milk. Both yeah. evening and morning, morning and evening. Okay. Yeah. But right now, we see that Masengara is very dry. So we have, uh, we have little, the cows are skinny. They're not they're skinny, skinny, yeah, I see. Yeah. So that's why they are not little. So these are the little lamps. Ormunyai? Ormunyai? Oh. I have to give you one cow and then I get a, the <laughs> big one. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. According to our culture, I you don't have the... You he, don't have beards. Bad. You don't have beards. So Someone I have to give you a cow, beard. one cow and then you get the and big you one. you give a heavier, big cow. So now I then point one cow, <laughs> then... <laughs> Look, they're, they're, all, they're all very impressed by people's uh, giant beard. Yeah. yeah. Took a lot of work. That's funny. Yeah. 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 The animals are now start getting inside the village. Yeah, the sheep, the sheep are coming now. Yeah, why? Inside the village, we want to put them inside the enclosure. Oh, you're bringing oh. them back. Oh, yeah. I see. We bring them back from the bush. What? Why? It's getting, it's getting okay. late. It's getting okay. darker. So they're bringing in the like sheep and goats and stuff now because it's starting to get late and they don't want them outside of the enclosure. So, you know, like lions and, uh, you know, cheetahs and things like that won't attack them. So. so they start getting in, then they go for enclosure. There's another special enclosure down here. And, uh, they have bells. Then you can hear them. When they get lost, you can hear them in the bush. Oh my gosh, there's more. You see the ramp? The ramp, we put the, there's something in the middle. Yeah, yeah. So these ones are from this enclosure, that one are from that enclosure. So they go to different enclosures. So you see the little one? They get yeah. milk from the mother right away. So yeah, 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 yeah. They miss their mother the whole day. So oh, oh they're, so they're like running. Yeah. Enough. We separated them. Yeah, 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 I see. So this is a special entrance for the you you got circumcised when you were 25? Myself, that time. Yeah. Yeah. We, 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 we stayed for so... We, we get circumcision very late. With no painkillers? Yeah. There's no any painkillers. And that... And you that must was... be very brave, 100% brave. You should not move any part of your body. You just freeze. Yeah. Totally. Freeze completely as if you're in a fridge. You don't move any part of your body eyelids they look you on toes yeah you stay firm very strong very brave you don't move any part of the body in case you move it you run away they destroy your village you'll never be any you'll be nothing in front of men in front of the community and what but why do you get circumcised is it to show to show that you show are, that an, you are an adult that's how you we call there's something what you consider we say a man yeah the word man means it's very strong. So when you say that I'm a man, I'm a circumcised man. You know, I'm a man. So yeah. it means so much. You right. need to be very much respected because you have gone through all the pain. And then this, this on your arm here, you got, you got, that's, yeah. that's similar, right? Or Sim This is initiation. That's okay. The, before initiation, before circumcision, yeah. you have got several pains to undergo. Uh, so this marks, they should test how brave are you, how strong are you. Yeah. They start burning. It's also part of doing, if you do great things to the community, uh, they start doing some marks for you. And uh, I was trying to explain that you go several pain. You must pass through pains before circumcision. They start from the ears and also means uh, it's, it's for beauty. It's a yeah. traditional mark. This is how you identify the master. Then they, they, they bounce on the arms, 
Yeah. Then burns the lastly, legs. Lastly, they do the legs. So the more the more then burns the lastly you have, do the legs. This is when yeah. you go through the circumcision. Right. This is when they can prove that how strong you will be, mm -hmm. how 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 brave you'll be. Circumcised with no so painkillers, brands with no painkillers, and then yeah, you'll face a knife. There's no painkillers. No painkillers. No pain and then how do they do that? They just—it's a stick, a burning stick, and then just. <laughs> yeah, we we have got two special wood. Yeah. That we use to make fire. Uh -huh. Very special. So through friction, the the sticks will 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 get high heat, very hot. So when the stick is red hot, this when they burn. And, and it hurts. They do that quickly. And then so you must be firm, very strong. Yeah. You don't move your body. And then, and then you kill lions. Like you can only kill the li you then kill the lions there, before or after. When do you? Before circumcision. So you have to kill the lion even before Fast. you can get circumcised. Yeah. And then you become an elder. So this is yeah. You start rate of passage start yeah. from the lion. Right. Uh, bands from several parts of the body, various parts of the body, and uh, so, so we, we want to start, uh, we want to start learning how, how we skin our goats. <clears throat> Due to YouTube community standards, I can't exactly show everything that happened here, so to keep the story progressing, let's fast forward to preparing goat for dinner. You like? I learned better English. Okay. You like it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I, um, go I had a bachelor's. Can you get one? So you can university, yeah. There you go. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it's hard. The ground is so hard. Mm -hmm. So you must use a spear to make some holes for the sticks. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. And that, what is the... Behind, just come, you see, this is a liver. Liver, okay. This is a liver. These are the ribs. Ribs. On the back, you have some sticks to stretch it. Stretch, okay. Stretch so that it can roast properly. So okay. everywhere will be ripened. This is the four leg, limb. Four limb. Four limb. Okay. Okay. All right. Roasted liver. Yeah. Yeah. You just pop the whole thing? Pop it in. Mm. Pop it in, let's go liver. It's natural, no salt. Okay, that's actually pretty good. What do you think? Good? Very good. Very good. That's really good. I'm a pretty big fan of that, actually. It's a goat liver. Goat liver. Yeah. Goat liver. That's so great. It's so, it's so... Yeah, very sweet. I definitely was not expecting it to be so delicious. It was really good. <laughs> yeah. 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 Is there a church here? Yeah. We have those two uh, parts. Uh, 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 u
Oh, we'll give, you, we'll give you new names. So we normally have naming ceremonies for children, mostly for children mm. and for visitors yeah. in our tradition. So those are the two types of naming ceremonies we do have here. It's part of the hospitality that the village can choose uh, to our visitors, part of welcome. So your name is Leshan? Your name is Leshan. Okay. Uh, so I'll write the names so that you can save on the phone. Leshan, uh, you also have Kismet for the community because you bring rain. This is very dry and uh, from yesterday, since you get your communication and since you arrived in the village, you still had some rain. You've just mm. seen the rain. So good. Okay. It really makes sense. Yeah, so yeah. that's why we give you the lesson. So you okay. really have Kismas okay. to the community. Okay. You bring Kismas to us because great. you have rain. Yeah. And we cannot survive without rain great. because of the, okay. the the livestock. Yeah. Right? Right. Yeah. So do you get that? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. So we'll start do the blessing to you. Okay. Lesson. Oh. 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 Pleasure, <laughs> Here's where I'm sleeping tonight. Boom, right here. Small little hut, so. really sounds good when I hear that. Uh, I mean, you said it was clay and, this is a and cow dung? A mixture of clay and fresh cow dung. Okay. So you have to mix in the same ratio. One is to one mm -hmm. with a lot of water. And then uh, you make sure that you apply both inside and outside of the wall, only on top of the roofs. And you can see that it becomes so hard and dry mm -hmm. due to mixing them properly in a good ratio. Yeah. Uh, so even if there's a, a high rain or a big rainfall, it cannot wash down. It cannot come out. I was wondering. I'm, I'm glad that you said that. I was wondering about that. Like if it, if it would rain a lot, if this would start to. This will not, never come out. It will be okay. just like this. You see, even the roof. The roof will shield the walls. Right. Right. So there's nothing that is. There's no way. There's no way that this will come out. Look. Never. Look. Never. That's cool. If the roof is if the roof is a little bit older, the women will climb on top and add fresh one. Ah. So completely even if there's a lot of rain, there's no leakage. You'll just sleep comfortably. Yeah, oh man, I slept, I slept so good. <laughs> wow. You see the ladies walking? Oh, doing stuff for the cows and stuff. Yeah. So they make sure that they separate the little one mm. so that in the morning 
At least you can have milk. Otherwise, if you left them here, you never get milk in the morning. Uh, and we must have milk because this is our breakfast. We must make Masai tea. Mm. Yeah, we have what you call Masai tea. It's a mixture of milk, herbs. Is that like what we drank yesterday? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that stuff was great. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, get all the milk that you can. Do you guys get a lot of, like, do you let a lot of people stay in places like this? Or is this like a a rare thing very rare thing wow, i feel good. super super privileged to be able to it's, it's rarely happening the village Thank you. Wear the necklace. Wear the necklace? Wow. I like it. You look great. Yeah. Thanks. You look oh, great. Thank you close the house? What do we need? Yeah, like soup. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Is it the head? Yeah, yeah. this is the head. Oh, go ahead, soup. The head. What you yeah. normally do, uh, you'll get the you get skin. The skin will be moved out. Yeah. You're only left with the flesh. Breakfast flesh and the bones. Delicious. So this one has got yeah. a very strong, very strong, very strong soup. Strong soup. Very strong soup. Wow. So this, meat, this is ready. So we will remove all the bones out. And then we left with the meat. And then we start sharing. Yesterday the little boys have eaten the, the hooves. Yeah. Because we normally mix the hooves with the head. Yeah. It goes together. Oh, they ate the, they ate the hooves. I saw them. Yeah, yes, they ate the hooves. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is this is this is the Maasai tea. Yeah, 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 yeah. But well, it's not tea. It's strong. It's just goat soup. No, this is yeah, goat head soup. This is yeah. a pure soup. Pure soup. That pure is soup. called Maasai tea. So we are waiting for herbs. See that? Yeah. So this is okay. the, uh, <laughs> it's Maasai tea. Shy? Shy enough? Maasai shy. This is, shy. Shy. This is, shy. This is uh, Hub. Yeah. So I have a clear. Yes. Mm. You don't want to get a photo. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes, it does. It's, it's good. Orange with cotton. It's, yeah. Pure roots. They're very good for the cleanse of the stomach. Digestion. Okay. Digestion. Mm -hmm. Ulcers, stomach ulcers. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So we. We need to make boil them a little bit. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. Do your thing. So we want to boil. So we boil for a little bit for the for the herbs to be active. That's when the herb will be active on soup. Then after that, in a few minutes, we we'll start stirring, and we can serve. Yeah, start drinking. Soup can make people very strong. Yeah, and they have also made make warriors active, brave, wise, hmm. thinking. <laughs> It's ready. Yeah. So we can take out the herbs so that you can start stirring. Stirring means it will get mixed, totally mixed with the herb. Mm. So that is the idea of using a stirring stick uh, to mix up. 
to make sure that the soup is mixed up with the half. This is harder than it looks. Want to try? So what do you do? Not so much hardly. Yeah, the shan. The shan. Because when you do it hardly, you do not wash it out. Only just. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> this is not easy. Yeah. It's very hard. It's not, it looks easy. You guys make it look easy, but it's really hard. Wow, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we have Masai tea. <laughs> it smells like goat. Goat head too. Here we go. Yeah. Cheers. Look here. Look at the phone. Breakfast of champions. Wow, it's so. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. Can I come to the boys? Are you going to get it? Oh. Uh-uh. 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 No. Better than a bit of coffee. You can hear that test? Yeah, I'm there. You can hear the test of the top. You don't know. 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 <laughs> Going to learn about Maasai plants. Garden here. Wow. Cows. Wow. We have cows. Wow. So this is uh, beautiful. This is my land from a Wangan, a Wangan garden. It's a botanical garden with different, uh, different types of indigenous trees. Uh, most of them, 99% uh, of them, are medicinal. So we, we grow purposely for the community. Uh, we've been using this one. We have done a lot of research practically with people. Yeah. And they're really doing very, very good. So 
in uh, in most of the in each and every species we can have like like you see this one and this one and that one mm. same species so you can do like you can do like five five one five seedlings one type five seedlings. mostly we, we doing five 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 different types of seedlings for example this one is uh this is called uh Cicidium. Cicidium Cicidium. Cicidium Cicidium this is both used we can use leaves we can use bark Use roots. <coughs> this is for the treatment of high blood pressure. For anybody with high blood pressure, the sedium quinesis is very, very, very important for uh, to finish all the problems. This is yellow bactacacia yeah. or fever tree. Yellow bactacacia or fever tree. And, uh, uh, only the outside cover it's useful inside when you cut the when you when you get out there the, 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 just cut like here here you get the outer cover inside there's a white sub that you can scratch so when you scratch it and yesterday like when you kill a goat is that oil from the fried meat so the white sub you fry from the uh, hot oil yeah. or hot fat from the meat they can be very sharp so if you deeply you deep deep frying in that uh, fat from the meat and then this one is very useful for buckets joint STDs it's very important yeah. for treatment of STDs wow yes and you, bo you boil the sap and go fat yeah we also have uh, these ones have just grown naturally. Uh, they are white for lacacia. They are just specially for fencing. It's very good for fencing. Mm -hmm. So we use it for fencing. So this is bamboo. Uh, bamboo. Bamboo. We have several bamboos, like about five of them. Mm -hmm. Down there, down there, down there, down there, down there, and others behind there. So this one, when they grow so big, uh, it's mainly used in textile industries. So we have those people who are specialized in textile industries. So that's why what the bamboo is used for. So and then the next plant is sour plant. Uh, it's called sour. So this plant uh, is very much useful. It's a medicinal plant. It's called sour plant. So what you do? Uh, oh, it smells so nice. Yeah, uh, you can remove the. You can get the leaves, several bunch of leaves, bark or roots. Then you can you burn completely, you burn together. Then uh, you'll get a black powder, soft black powder. So this one is used for treatment of skin cancer. Mm -hmm. Any skin cancer, this sour plant is very much applicable. So what we use. Sun, what about sunburn? Sunburn. No, this no. is a different one. Yeah. Okay. This is a different one. It's, it's only we have tried this one in the skin cancer. Yeah. And you can see. Wow. see that one? It grows so huge and big. It's called uh, this is erythina. It's erythina absinica. It's also medicinal. This is mostly used in uh, women issues. Especially when they have the women have excess, excess periods. Mm. This will help to stop that. Yeah. So any issues about this, the menstrual period, uh, this will really. Uh, that looks like a really thick yeah. leaf. Yeah. yeah, very thick. Very thick leaves. Yeah. Wow. It's called Erythina absinica. So this one is is a multi-purpose. This is a. You can use when you when you kill a goat, you place a goat on top because we don't choose other materials. Mm. We use this one to, when you're skinning a goat, and uh, it's also used for uh, roasting sticks. If you want to do a barbecue, it's also very useful, and also uh, it has got a scent. It has got a white scent. Is that? 
you see that same the white same so this one uh, when you apply to your body uh, it's an insect repellent like mosquito yeah. it's repel mosquitoes uh, the ladies also use as brooms on the floors uh, they also use to build roofs walls of the houses and also you can the roots are very good for stomach ulcers yeah it's, it's medicinal it's very good medicinal you can also make a, a toothbrush you can do a toothbrush uh, toothbrush uh, the toothbrush is very good for brushing your teeth whereby it can uh, it can prevent any uh, bleeding gums will stop so when you use this one just got a uh, just got a very strong test it's like a mint mm -hmm. just got a mint test of which it can help your bleeding gums every stop. every Maasai carries around a machete yeah you must have a machete yeah as you wake up from the bed, it's just, just next to you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> These are called girls. Girls. Girls? Girls. Yes, yeah. Go Girls? Mm -hmm. Okay. Girls. They are fruits. When they are fresh, you can eat them. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, they are some ants. So you must, you must test. <coughs> A lot of they have spikes right on the fruit. Yeah, spikes right on the fruit. Wow. Yeah. So we 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 we, we use we, these are very nice. They are nutritional. Yeah. And also the roots are very nice. For we use to, for treatment of wombs. Yeah. Wombs. Yeah. After delivery from women, mm. the roots are very nice. Very nice. And also, it's used to calm someone. Uh, if someone has got bad boots, yeah, you are not. This is good. Yeah, this is very good. You can boil the roots when you drink. It's you relax. soft mm. uh, yeah so the what matters is friction so you place on top of my city you do that you do on top of my city then the friction will I'll make a little holes right out of here and we we'll wrap them together like that so the ashes the embers will fall on the machete so it will help you instead of touching the wet ground mm. You can try to soften back on red cedar or elephant dung. So I think this was all on the head of You can also use elephant dung. Elephant dung. And that's that's pulverized wood from here? Yeah, the, or the back of wood. Yeah. Yeah. The red cedar, you can get them in mountains. So you need to make a little bit there's a small hole down here. You need to make a hole. So through this hole the friction will take place. Friction will take place. And this is okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> No, they will not be in the room. 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 No, they will not be in the room.
That's incredible. Okay. That's how we can survive in the jungle. Yeah. Without matches, no lighter. Ah. <sighs> so we add a lot of wood. So when this stitch is red hot, like you can survive in the jungle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see the oh, yeah. you see our pants on arms and yeah. legs. So like when this stick is red hot, see? we'll make we use it. That's what we use to burn our bodies. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, more, yeah. More, more. You got those? See? Oh, you burn with like that. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Uh. That's how we burn. <laughs> Saying goodbye was hard. I definitely wish I had more time with the tribe, but I leave the Maasai not only feeling like I made friends for life, but knowing that I have a family if I return. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Ala 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 